what is going on guys this video is a follow-up to the video i have titled create your own team with your own creative players okay this is a follow-up because there were some issues with the last video that i did a couple of people had trouble doing it because they didn't feel like i instructed it correctly and i there were some parts of it that were kind of all over the place a little bit i didn't necessarily do everything exactly in order so we're going to do it exactly in order the way it's supposed to be done and i'm actually going to do it on this video now no i'm not going to create a bunch of players i already did that now the very first thing you're going to do if you already have created players you are going to load that file okay this is if you already have kept players on there okay and i do so i'm gonna load that roster Okay, so I have created players on that. Okay, so I want to add players. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want more creative players. Not just those, but I want some more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a player. Go to roster control, create a player. Okay, so I got this guy here. You know, we're not going to make a big deal about this guy's identity or anything. We're just going to put somebody on here. His name is going to be Jonah, Jonah Ramos. Who cares, right? Johan. Johan Ramos. His name is Johan Ramos. Who you know, his name is not important for this video's sake. I'm just creating a character, right? Okay. So that's his name, Johan Ramos doesn't matter none of this stuff matters okay that's not the point in this video so okay let's give him some attributes I always select whole field because I, I just like to do that with my players give them a little bit of diversity I've already created a team in this but I'm not just gonna show you that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on the video so anyway the the process I'm just creating one of my players for the team that I want to use the created team that I want to use now take this note here your created team is just basically an MLB team with a new uniform a new stadium a new team name and all that stuff but other than that it's just an MLB team but I'm just showing you how to replace that roster with your creative roster because you're going to have to do that before you start your franchise. You have to do that first. You can't start the franchise and then create your team and put your players on there. Maybe you can, but it's a long, difficult process if you do it like that. I'm showing you the easy way to do it, okay? So this is my character. I'm not going to do nothing else with him. Okay, so. Remember, his name is Jonah Ram, Ram, Ramos. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jonah Ramos. So he's going to go to the free agent pool because they don't let you put your guys, okay, on teams yet. Okay, so my rosters have changed. Every time you create a player, every time, make sure you save that roster, okay? And save it, over, overwrite the previous save with the other players that you want to use. This is just going to be called example. Because that's this is my example video. So we're just going to call it that. That's going to be the name of my roster. Okay. I've created my players. Okay. That was just one. Now your next step. The very next step is this. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and load my roster. Anyway just to make sure nothing gets messed up okay i'm just even though I'm, i should already be there but i'm gonna do it anyway load the roster that i just saved okay i'm gonna do that which is right here okay i just did that so now my next step is to transfer my created players to an mlb team okay so we're gonna go to roster control roster control and okay let's say i use let me 
really doesn't matter what you don't use the Boston Red Sox for a little player movement. Now, okay, so you have player movement here. So what you're going to do now with the Boston Red Sox, I'm going to start. Okay, this side you want to switch to free agent. You want to keep hitting those that top, those top trigger buttons, L1 and R2, until you get the free agents. That's what you're going to do. Okay, those that L, those are legends. Those are obviously not the players I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to take these players. Now, the way I like to do it, I like to trade them for their position, but for this video, we're just going to move them for whoever. Okay, so you're going to get rid of these players for however many created players you have. You know, I don't know how many you're going to have. Okay, this is a created player right here. Okay. That's a created player. So I'm going to trade him for a starting pitcher because he is my created player. We'll go back to free agent. Because remember, you're trading to the free agent list. They treat the free agent list almost like it's a team that you're trading with. That's basically how that works. So that's a created player that I previously created. So I'm going to hit X. Okay, he got traded there. Okay, and so forth. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to keep trading these players from the Red Sox to the free agent pool to the guy that I created. That's another created character. Okay, but I'm going to trade him for a left fielder. Okay, now I may not run the whole thing through because... As you can see, I got a lot of credit players on here, but, you know, it may not even matter, really. I'm looking for my credit player. Some of my credit players have low ratings. I did that on purpose. I wanted a just, I, I didn't want to make some super, super team. So I basically just have some pretty mediocre players. And some players that that need some work. Okay, he's a right fielder. We're just switching for him. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now go over here and well look for my second baseman because I did create a second base. I created every position basically. That's what I did. I created every position. Now. I think you get the point by now. So what I, I'm not going to go ahead with that. That's my second baseman, Jonathan Ross. Okay, now you get the point. You're going to do that until you got all your credit players on the Boston Red Sox or whatever team you wanted, okay? So now I'm going to back out of this. Accept roster change. Press yes. If you accidentally hit no, you got to start all over again. Make sure you go to yes. Okay, now this, now. I'm gonna back up all, must, all, it's this one's all CPU rosters must be validated. Okay, so you wanna hit square auto fix roster. That's what you wanna hit. Okay, auto fix. It has something to do with the lineup or something. That's not gonna mess your team up, so it's fixed. Okay, so now I'm going back. Okay. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to save that roster again because, you know, let's say I transferred all my kit, all my credit players to that roster. So I'm going to save them again. Okay. I'm saving that roster. Okay. Now I'm ready to start my franchise. Let's pretend I put all my credit players there. I wasn't going to do the whole thing. Transfer everybody because you get the point. You don't need all that. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Franchise and hit Square. Start New. Load Save Roster. Okay. Okay, I'm loading that roster. Okay, now, remember, it has to be the same team you transferred your, your, your players to. So, and my team was the Boston Red Sox, right? We, we remember that. It was, it was the Boston Red Sox. So now, when I go here, I'm going to hit R1 because it says hit R1 for custom team. Create a new custom team, okay? That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here, now, now you're here, right? Okay. 
we're gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna rush through this this is gonna look like crap but you know I'm just gonna put something here it doesn't matter you know our team is gonna be called the moons okay that's what we're gonna be called okay and here you can edit your, you know your thing or whatever okay so that's our team okay team details we're called the Boston moons and I'm not this is no big deal I'm not gonna keep this stuff or anything I'm just showing you how this works this is really gonna look like crap but that's beside the point you can even look at this you can even they have so many options here man for what I would recommend looking through this list and looking at ideas for what you want that way the commentators can actually call your team by name they give you look at all these options man they give you some really good options some of you may already know that by now but they give you a lot of options I don't know if they have moons as an option but we're gonna check aren't we they don't so you know we're not gonna mess with that but anyway so that's our team right there let's just go ahead and edit the uniform this is our hat you know you're gonna go through all this stuff here and you know okay I'm gonna insert my logo Okay, so that's well so I have that right there so as you can see it's on my jersey I I, I mean this is you know <laughs> that looks horrible but um, let's go ahead and edit this here It doesn't matter. I'm not even going to give them a uniform, okay? Now you're going to select your stadium. Okay, these are my edited created stadiums. I'm just going to play here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything else with this team, okay? That's my team, okay? Are you sure? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so. Okay, exporting a custom team saves a copy of this team okay i'm not going to do that because i don't want to use this team ever again so now that i created that team okay okay something went wrong there so anyway that's the credit team i'm going to use i'm going to go ahead and use that okay That's the team I want to use. That's the team I created another time. Now, when you go to this stuff here, make sure you select everything on manual. Okay? Everything should be on manual here. I like to start regular season. Okay, so now I'm the Atlanta Sharks, which, you know. Now, as you can see, let's go to my roster. Let me go to my lineup here. Lineup. As you can see, those credit players that I put on here, they're here. You know, I didn't put them all here, but they're here. Okay. There's my bench over there. Okay. As you can see, Jonathan Ross is, is a... I only put like two or three. I know I put... Okay. Here's my bench. But anyway, there you have it. So I have my credit team ready now remember your created team cannot be used in exhibition games it's for franchise only and 
that's that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all there is to show you. And I showed it to you in the exact order. If you have, if you still have any questions about it, just leave comments because that's what made me do this video. There was some questions about it, and if you want to watch the video and do it step by step as I do it, so that you get it exactly correct, then that would be good because some people had trouble understanding it. it was that video was a little bit all over the place. I kind of rambled and went back and forth, didn't go in order. But anyway, that's it for this video. That's your. Uh, follow up to it.